Hey guys, Luke here from Australian Gamer. We are uh, just playing a little bit of Battlefield 3 and I'm here with Lars from DICE. Um, now, we've taken a look at the, uh, the campaign mode. Can you tell us a little about the, uh, the story? To be honest, I'm not very keen on revealing the story, but what I can say is that it's, uh, it's a much more kind of mature story this time around. It's uh, much more in style and tone with the overall game. Uh, it's really telling the story from the soldier's perspective of the war. Is the, uh, the co-op, is that the same sort of story or it's totally separate? Uh, co-op is a uh, totally separate storyline. Okay. Um, and everybody's been playing the beta. Thousands of people in Australia. What have you guys learned from that so far? Ooh, uh, a lot of good takeaways. Uh, overall, the beta was put out there, of course, to get people's eyes on it. Uh, but it's early code still, so uh, we've gotten a lot of feedback, you know. You need to improve this and that, and, and that's all good. Most of that has already been addressed. Uh, but the main takeaway for us has been to see that our backend, the servers, are holding up, that our telemetry system are sending the correct data, really to prepare ourselves for a good launch, since we've had experiences before where, for example, Battlefield 1943 uh, was far more popular than we ever had expected. Uh, so it, it kind of killed our server park, and, and uh, we don't want to have that again, do we? Yeah, definitely. So, uh, Battle Log is something really big you guys are bringing this time around. Is that something you see as being a platform for other titles in the future, or is it kind of just going to be this time around and we'll see how it goes? I mean, this time around, uh, we build it specifically for Battlefield, but uh, I see no reason to not extend it uh, in the future for, for additional titles, since it is really... You wouldn't really like to have separate networks for every game you have. Uh, and uh, this is a really good platform for tying it all together. So, Yeah, and the engine's looking, I mean, Im really impressive. It's probably one of the best-looking games out there to date. Um, but the game's split across multiple platforms. Is that hard in terms of limitations because you've got the PC where you can, um, I guess, cater towards new hardware, whereas the consoles are very, you know, you're running on eight years now. Um, does that limit in terms of what you guys can do? We like to see it, uh, or the way we approach it is that we want to make the best for each and every platform so that you're not, uh, the PC version isn't limited by the consoles and so on. Uh, and I think that really paid off. Both PC, of course, if you go out there and buy your, yourself some extra graphic cards on the latest model, you should get something extra for it. Uh, but also with the console, we really managed to cram everything out of it. Uh, or there's probably more we can do in the future. But we're extremely pleased, and, and the feedback has been uh, overwhelming on, on how both uh, console and PC looks. So there's a lot of uh, first-person shooter games coming out this holiday season. Uh, what do you think you guys are bringing to the market that is, uh, I guess, above and beyond what everybody else is delivering? I think that we add a very fresh take on, on the shooter genre. Uh, we, uh, we really provide everything from that tight uh, team deathmatch experience downtown with all the destruction and everything that the Frostbite 2 engine allows us to do to the open-world uh, all-out war experience. It's also, yeah, I mean... Of course, battle log. So there's, I think we, we really try hard to push ourselves to, to, to reinvent in, in numerous areas. In the genre that I feel has gone slightly stale, there are so many shooters out there, and many times it's almost hard to pick them one from the other. Well, uh, I'm very excited for the game. I've got my Team Battlefield t-shirt on. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Um, so good luck with the launch. I'm sure you guys do really well, and I uh, hope to see some more games from you guys in the future. Thank you very much. 99 pounds, but a bitch ain't one. If you have a girl, pounds after that, you son. I got 99.